everybody, this is Camilla with Good Creek Canine. Um, today's video is about how to get your dog from a front position to your heel position on your side. Um, I'm going to show it both on the left side and the right side. I know you guys are kind of have different, um, different sides you work your dog, you walk your dog. So this, I'll show you both left and right. Um, there is a few things that you as the handler need to be aware of before we include the dog into the exercise. First, I will show it from what is my left side right here. And what I'm gonna do, if I want my dog that's in front to come to my left side, the first move is I'm gonna take a step back with my left foot and forward again. So the step back with the left foot and forward again. This stepping back is to create some momentum for the dog to move with you. And also gives more space of when we're gonna turn the dog there's time and space for it to turn and align up before we get into actual heel position. So that's the first part of it. You practice just stepping back with the leg on the side you want the dog to come to and then forward again. So it's kind of like you're rolling and forward again. The next thing is your hand. So if I want my dog to be on my left side, the leash will be in my right hand and the treats will be in my left hand. And what I'm going to do is, as I'm stepping back, I'm going to take my hand and kind of point the finger straight back, around, and forward again here. If you notice how my hand is kind of like a pocket hand almost here, the dog's head is actually going to be between my leg and the hand. And there's a reason for that. But just try again here. So it's kind of like, think about you scraping the inside of a bowl. Like after you make a nice chocolate cake, you want to scrape the inside of the bowl. So think about that, that you're on the inside of the circle of the bowl and the dog's on the outside. So I go back on the finger, forward, and here. The reason why my hand is here, and you see, is because, you see how serious, because he's, I can kind of control his head. Is he looking straight ahead or is he looking a little bit away from me? I can control that with my hand. And when I control where he's looking, I'm controlling his hindness. Because here's the thing, if he's looking up over here, where's his butt going? Away from me. If he's looking straight forward, see the cam? Or away from me, see how the butt comes in? Yes. Then I can control the hindness. If I want a nice come swing into a nice heel in a nice straight position, I need to be able to control the dog's head. So that's why my hand is going to be on the inside here and then on the outside of my dog's face. So I know when you try this a few times, it will make more sense. So we got our leg going back, our hand with the tree, come forward here. Now my end position isn't a sit, but what I want you to do is break this down in two, um, in two sequences. So you're going to have quite a few treats in your hand. My first my first step in this exercise is just to get my dog to swing around and come in nice nice and tight to me in a standing position. I'll mark and reward for that. And then as he's eating a treat and I still have my hand down there, my hand will go right up. So he will look up at the hand with the treats and now make his butt go down and I'll mark and reward for the sitting as well. And then I'll hang out in that sitting behavior for a little bit. Mark and reward, mark and reward, mark and reward to help increase the value of holding the sitting position. So you don't just get a butt in the ground and then delete again. So we're gonna try it from, we put everything together. So my dog is in front and I have the treats in my left hand because I want him to get on my left side. So I'm gonna step back as I'm pointing the finger. Ready? Here, I'm gonna swing, move forward here. Yes. And as I still have him, Raise your hand up, you can also say sit. Yes, reward, yes, reward, yes, reward. Now, if your dog even here has a tendency to want to look up and swing up, feed the tree on the outside of his mouth. Just a little bit, yes, here, yes, here. And then what you can do is, if you still have more treats, you can just simply step in front of the dog and then do it Again. Yes, boom, and then say sit. Good, very nice. I'm out of right now. Good job, free. Very nice. So we're going to try it again. Let me get me some more treats and I'll be right back. All right. So we're going to try it again. And the more times you repeat this, 
then slowly the dog will get it. No, not slowly, sometimes fast. And then we can start taking the two behaviors and put them into one sequence. So we can, in the end, we can start for a good swing around into a sit before we mark the reward. But let me just show you again how we break it into two parts before I show you how I make it a one sequence. Step back, around here, stop here, yes. And then raise my hand up, sit, yes. Yes, yes, and I'll show it again from, I'm stepping in front of him now so you can see it, how it looks from here, from behind how my leg is moving, ready? on the verbal cue. So practice this at home, have fun. 